In 1908, Henri Poincaré remarked that later generations would regard set theory as a disease from which one has recovered. You know set theory, that thing that all modern mathematical proofs rely on? Although his opinion no longer matters because he's dead, in modern times mathematicians generally just accept set theory without even being aware that this was once a heated, debated topic in mathematical circles. But there is still a very small percentage of mathematicians who believe that there are fundamental flaws in the foundation of set theory. One such mathematician is Norman Wildberger, who believes that irrational numbers are invalid because they rely on an imprecise definition of infinity. This makes him a very Wildberger indeed. While it is giving Terence Howard vibes, he isn't just some actor who studies mathematics on the side, he's an actual mathematics professor at a reputable university. What's more is he just discovered a new way to approximate quintic or higher order equations using an infinite series involving the Catalan numbers. Okay, so what the hell did I just say? What is a quintic equation and what the hell's a Catalan number? Okay, so a quadratic equation is any equation where the highest power of x is 2. So this is an example of a quadratic equation. We usually call the coefficients a, b, and c. And to solve a quadratic equation, you use something called the quadratic formula, which is here. Now for cubic equations, the highest power is three, and you reduce it down to this here by removing the x squared term. And then you can use this equation to find x on its own. And then similarly with a quintic equation, you reduce it down to this one here, and then you use Ferrari's method, which unfortunately doesn't actually involve any real Ferraris and then you can use this equation here to find y on its own. I've used y. Why did I use y? Why not? Ah. Ah. And then for a quartic equation you use Ferrari's method which unfortunately doesn't actually involve any real Ferraris <laughs> and you can reduce it down here and then use this formula to find x on its own. But you'll notice that all of these methods involve radicals or nth roots and our wild American sandwich said no. I don't like radicals, okay? I'm a moderate. And like all the other Sigma male Giga Chads we cover on this channel, he went off and made his own approximation. This approximation actually gets like 16 decimal places of accuracy with just two iterations. It's mad. So here's the approximation. We define a quintic equation as C0 minus C1x plus C2x squared plus C3x cubed plus C4x to the 4 plus C5x to the 5 equals 0. And the approximation is the sum from M2, M3, M4, M5 greater than or equal to zero. This means that all of these just iterate above zero of 2m2 plus 3m3 plus 4m4 plus 5m5 all factorial c0 to the 1 plus m2 plus 2m2 plus 3m4 plus 4m5 c2 to the m2 c3 to the m3 c4 to the m4 c5 to the m5 sorry i just wanted to show off my beatboxing all over, if you just memorize that, then you can solve any quintic equation. Now, if you want a full explanation of how to derive this whole thing and how it relates to the Catalan numbers, I strongly recommend you go to Norman Wildberger's channel himself, where he explains basically the whole thing. It's called Insights into Mathematics, link in the description. Hope you found that interesting, uh, no hate, okay? I do wanna stress that. I do make a few jokes, okay, but actually, uh, I find it quite impressive that he did this, so no hate whatsoever. Like, comment, subscribe, and piss off. Bye.